they're done. Another morning, which is the worst part of the day because it is freezing when we get up and getting out of the tent style in this temperature is really, really hard to do. But it's almost 7 a.m. I have coffee brewing, breakfast ready. It is day six of All Sam Adventures. And today we're gonna hike to a waterfall and we're gonna see if we can rent a kayak or a canoe or something and get out on one of the lakes. Here I am on the road again. It's so pretty. All right, we're back out on the trail for hike number two. Today we are going to Hidden Falls. It's about a 2.3 mile hike in, so we'll probably do four and a half, five miles today. And it should be really cool. I'm excited to see a waterfall, aren't you? Hell yeah. We love water. Water's so cool. <laughs> Every time you look up while you're walking, you just get this beautiful, beautiful view of the lake and the trees. This is a really nice hike. Definitely not like anything we do in Los Angeles. So even though we're not novices to hiking, we hike a little bit in LA, we're about 7,000 feet up right now in elevation. And you can definitely feel it when you breathe, which it doesn't feel like we're out of shape. It's just like you can feel that the air is so much thinner up here. It's nice, it's crisp, and it's, it's probably better for us. I mean, so far everywhere in this park has been beautiful. And I don't think it's gonna disappoint us. I can hear the waterfall now. Birdie, we're almost there. Are you taking pictures? Yes. See, our hike is always double the length it should be because we stop and take so many pictures. <laughs> he, in his element, taking pictures. I can hear the roar of the waterfall now. We've been hiking for about an hour and 45 minutes. But to be fair, we stopped a lot to take photos, to take videos, and also to do reconnaissance for the solar eclipse on Monday to see if we could find a spot where we can hike to and get good video of and pictures. Yeah, and we found a bunch of great spots, so I think we'll be good. Yeah, we're Let's just- Let's pray for no cloud cover. Yeah, and we're gonna have to get up really early and hike up real early in the morning, but we can do that, right, Birdie? Yes. We made it to the waterfall. The power of the waterfall was unmistakable. Just for fun, I played around with my camera and slowed down the speed of the water a few times, sometimes making it super slow, which gave me a new appreciation to just how powerful that water was rushing over those cliffs. So we're now on our two mile return hike back from the waterfalls. We were going to go canoeing or kayaking right after this, but we are both way too exhausted. Yeah. It's hot out here. It is very hot out. So we are going to head back to the base camp visitor center and figure out what we can eat for lunch because I am always hungry. Lunch today looks amazing. How is it, Birdie? It's good. All right, time to dig in. At the Jenny Lake Lodge right here for some lunch. Turns out it was a great lunch and they had Wi-Fi and a little lobby that we just set up camp in for a few hours. Did some editing and all that fun stuff that goes into making these vlogs. It takes time. And now we are gonna head back to camp and rest for a little while. Made it back to camp, which is properly set up now. We mostly just use this for changing. It's our backup tent. And then we have been sleeping in our tent style right here. It's got its rain cover on because it gets cold at night and that helps insulate us. We're going to the beach, beach. <laughs> I do that every single time we go to or near a beach. You've already done it in one of our videos. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to the swim beach right now to rinse off, especially our feet, which are real grimy. Um, it's, it's dusty and dirty in the outside, you know? So <laughs> I think everybody knows, Sam. Well, it's dirtier than I thought, so I'm gonna go wash my feet at the very least right now. <laughs> my feet. Water is a little bit chilly right now. So, closest I got was putting my feet in. Birdie went all in, and I give him credit for that. 
So I just spent about two hours doing laundry at the laundromat. It was pretty easy and they had an outlet to charge my computer so I was happy. Now we're about to eat some quick dinner. We grabbed it from the store because it's about to be dark and we don't have time to cook tonight. Then we're heading to a talk on astronomy at the amphitheater here in the campground. And we are entering the amphitheater for the astronomy talk. This should be quite exciting. It's already quite cold though. So, for those of you who are going to be here or somewhere in the path of totality on Monday, how many of you will this be the your first total solar eclipse? Yeah. Well, that's the vast majority. That's great. You are in for a treat. So we just finished an hour-long chat with David Barron, who used to be the science correspondent for NPR. Um, he's an eclipse chaser, so we talked all about what we're going to have happen on Monday. And then we got to check out some telescopes and we got to see Saturn which was really cool like rings and all so really productive night I'm cold I'm tired though now so we're heading back and we're gonna get some sleep